Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another exciting calculator tutorial for you. Today in this video, I will tell you many cool features of the mode 6 matrix mode of this calculator. So what you will learn today? You will learn how to enter matrices on this calculator and a brief explanation of all the features of matrix mode, how to multiply and divide scalars with matrices and how to find out matrix inverse how to add, subtract, multiply and divide matrices and how to use the matrix divide feature for LU decomposition along with an example and how to copy matrices and finally many other exciting uses of this calculator so this video is gonna be little lengthy I will divide the video in two parts so this is the first part so let's start today's video First, to get into the matrix mode, press this mode button and enter 6 for matrix. And you can enter 1 for matrix A, type 2 for matrix B and type 3 for matrix C. And now I will tell you how to enter the matrices. For that, press shift and 4 to get into matrix submenu and 2 for data. 1 for matrix A, 2 for matrix B and 3 for matrix C. So enter 1 for matrix A. Now as you can see the matrix A is right now a 2 cross 2 matrix. We want to change it to a 3 cross 3 matrix to enter this matrix L. For that press shift 4, 1 for dimension where you can change the dimensions of the matrices. So 1 for matrix A and now we want a 3 cross 3 matrix so we will type 1 but you can enter 1 to 6 to get different sizes of matrices also press the joystick down to get more options so let's enter 1 and now we enter the matrix L which is the lower triangular matrix as matrix A we will enter the matrix U which is the upper triangular matrix as matrix B and we will enter matrix A and matrix C and we will do the required operations so first let me enter this matrix L and matrix A the A here represents the matrix name and now we will enter the data to enter the data just type in the values and press the equals to button to enter first we will enter the first value which is 1 so type in 1 and press the equals to button next the cursor will move to the next field from 1 to here and then enter the next value and right now as you can see the value is 0 here so you can skip it by joystick right now this value is 3 let's enter 3 data is entered press AC to clear the screen now we will enter the matrix B for matrix U press shift 4 2 for data and 2 for matrix B and now there is already one matrix which I stored for matrix B we will replace it so we will enter the new values and old values will get replaced Press AC to clear screen. Again, we will enter the matrix C. For that, 3 for matrix C. And now we will replace it with the matrix A. And now let me give you a brief preview of all the features. So, by dimension option, you can change the dimension of any existing matrices by option 2 data you can check the data entered and you can modify or correct them if needed if you want to change any value just move the cursor to that field and enter the new value and press equals to the old value will get replaced and now press shift 4 to get matrix sub menu and now if you press 3 you will get the matrix A on screen 
you enter 4 you will get matrix B if you enter 5 you will get matrix C and if you press 6 you will get matons or the fourth matrix also called the D matrix next by option 7 you can find out dit or determinant of a matrix and by option 8 you can find out transpose of a matrix so I explained how to use the features determinant and transpose cleverly to solve a system of three linear equations in my previous video the link to my previous video is given in the video description below I will request you to check my previous video so that you will know how to find out adjoint of a matrix how to find out cofactor of a matrix how to find out inverse of a matrix and how to solve a system of 3 cross 3 linear equations using the matrix mode of this calculator also you will learn how to find out transpose of a matrix so know how to use all the features you please watch my previous video and now I will tell you how to use the scalar multiplication and divide for that first let's say we will use the matrix 5 which is the matrix A here so for that press 5 and now scalar means any real number positive or negative but not 0 so you can multiply any scalar number with any matrices so for example if you want to multiply the matrix C by 2 then you will bring the matrix C on screen then multiply and 2 and press the equals to button so all the values in matrix A or matrix C in our case will be placed or will be multiplied by 2 so let's check it previously it was 1 3 4 3 15 20 and 2 18 26 so they are now multiplied by 2 2 6 8 6 30 40 4 36 and 52 also and this answer is stored in the matons or sixth variable for that press shift 4 and 6 to print the matons variable so which is our matrix 6 means if we do any matrix operation the result matrix is stored in the matons variable or the matons matrix now again if we divide this matrix answer by 2 we will get our original matrix back let's do it press AC shift 4 6 for matrix answer and divide it by 2 and press equals 2 so you will get original matrix back that is 134 315 20 2 18 26 so this is the end of the part 1 of the video I will continue the rest of the calculations in the part 2 of the video part 1 and part 2 will be uploaded simultaneously on YouTube link to the part 2 is given in the video description below so how was the video let me know in the comments below see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing